This is Future Tech, where each week we discuss the good, the bad, and the ugly of where tech is headed in 2023 and beyond. Critics and bots came down hard on The Little Mermaid, and review sites are taking notice. Blake Montgomery joins us now more to discuss. And Blake, what are we seeing? We're seeing masses of people give one-star reviews to The Little Mermaid, mostly off of the backs of animus towards Halle Bailey, who's cast as the lead, Ariel. And ever since the announcement of her casting, there's been a lot of racist backlash targeting her, the movie, Disney. So this is the latest version of that. It's been ongoing. I mean, we heard about her casting a year ago, two years ago. Yeah, people love something to get upset about. So this is the Disney live action remake, of course. And some of the, the one-star reviews, I believe, were from people who actually have racist views and then some I guess it, it was uh, bots that were behind some of the, the yeah uh, IMDB specifically which saw the bulk of this kind of backlash said that uh, there are 32,000 reviews of the film itself and 13,000 of them are one star and okay. it's a uh, coordinated activity what did it call it uh, suspicious voting activity mm -hmm. in Europe especially a lot of the bots were using the same language to leave a review a lot of them use specific phrases that could be flagged and so what IMDb is doing is it's like changing its voting system to preserve the authenticity and the veracity of its reviews. It's gonna be weighing the one star reviews less uh, than the like higher star reviews because of this and present like a weighted average to viewers basically. All right, well, uh, so one of our coworkers already saw it twice, so it can't be, it can't be a one star review. You know, we have seen this before though, you know, the backlash over the casting of a character. Mm -hmm. We just saw that with, I believe, it was a Netflix, a Queen Cleopatra. That's happened before with Cleopatra, and there's a lot of kind of uh, discourse about like, was Cleopatra African? Was she Egyptian? Are they the same? Like, who should be that? Who should play that person? Where was she originally from? Uh, that sort of thing. And so the casting ends up entwined in this like very complicated debate. Right. Um, so I, I want to ask though, when it comes to reviews in general, I mean, do you do you consider them before deciding to watch something? If I see a review average that's so low or so high, I do pause a little bit. If it's in the middle, it's sort of like, okay, there's mixed opinion on the internet. So what? Um, but if it's so, so, so low, like it happened with The Little Mermaid, then I have some questions. <laughs> if it's so, so, so high, I'm sort of like, I don't believe you, but maybe it's good. What I'll do usually is read a review in a paper to kind of like clarify what's going on. Oh, I see. You, you know, like uh, my, my boyfriend, if something's below 60 on Rotten Tomatoes, for instance, he's like, oh, he has no time for it. <laughs> but what I think is interesting though, is that if it is so low, you almost want to watch just to just to see how bad it is and just like enjoy the badness. <laughs> or if maybe it's so good. Maybe leave a review yourself. Exactly. Or if it's so good, you know, like, uh, or if it says that it's so good, maybe you could uh, watch it and be like, eh. Yeah, like, do I agree? Like, I don't know. that good. Um, regardless, though, what's not cool is these types of review bombs, you know, especially when it comes to something that's clearly racist in some cases. Right. And if, like, obviously most of these bots and kind of critics haven't seen the movie, which is, like, part of the big problem and why IMDb was putting out this statement saying, like, we want to preserve the feeling that you can trust these reviews because what it does more so than in the long run, what it does is like drag down the score of this one movie and sure. you're not going to go back to IMDb because you're saying you're thinking, oh, this is so easily influenced. Right. And we saw this happen with sites that may maybe have less robust like trust and safety systems. So there are some European sites. I'd never heard of Allocine, but it's a French movie review site. Uh, that was fancy. having the same problem and the movie got dragged down to like 0.5% or something like that. And the site was saying, we're going to try and like fix this and weigh them differently. And that site has done this before when review bombings were happening in the opposite direction. People are giving it a 100% score having not seen it also. Ugh, why can't we have nice things, you know? <laughs> you know, I was so obsessed with The Little Mermaid when I was a kid. I'm actually so excited to see the remake as well, so. I'll probably see it, I think. I, it, there's been so much news about it. It's been coming Coming out for so long, I have read so much news about The Little Mermaid that now I have to see what all the discourse is about. I the... think, if anything, the discourse could be about the animals, the, <laughs> the, um, the animation there, right? Completely. They look, Sebastian and Flounder, to me, look very strange. Okay, so yeah, we'll check out your review <laughs> on Sebastian <laughs> and Flounder. I am not leaving, or, I'm not wading into this review mess on IMDb, no way. Yeah, present, not voting, same here. <laughs> for more on this story, check out gizmodo.com.